Hi, this is Rachel Cipriano coming to you again from Magnificent Resilience. What I want to talk to you about today is the necessity of toning down a little bit of your excitement. Hear me out. I'm all for passion and I have that in spades. But if you imagine a dog that just comes into a room and he's you know, panting and barking and jumping and all excited to be there. You know what the owner's usually going to do. Uh, they're going to try to get the dog to calm down a little bit because the dog's being a little over the top and disruptive. Now, I want you to think about that for yourself as you go about your networking events because I'm basically sharing from my own experience. I am a very excited person and sometimes I get a little too enthusiastic about a contact before I take time to tone it down a bit and vet the person more. It's very important for you to vet your contacts. So obviously it's important to get to know people. This goes for your personal life too, in terms of friendships, uh, dating relationships, etc. You've got to take time. Take that time. Nowadays, let's face it, there's so much on social media and what have you that that gives you an opportunity to do a little research and even if you know everything and the person looks wonderful on paper, take the time to get to know them before you decide you're going to jump into a friendship or a networking uh, referral status or collaboration. It takes time. And it's very important to know that somebody can appear so wonderful, but if they're not, if they're deceiving you, they can be very destructive to you professionally and personally. Um, they're going to be a reflection on you. They're going to affect your life in a major way if you don't put that healthy guard up and temper yourself and take the time to get to know them. So keep that food for thought as we're soon to be going into 2018 and make that resolve. That could even be a good revolution, resolution for you if you tend to get burned in work situations, in personal situations. Um, I know for myself, I've had experience where somebody seemed so great and I spent a lot of time nurturing the contact and putting a lot of work into a collaboration effort. And at the end of the day, it didn't come to fruition. And I think it's very important to read the signals. There can be wonderful people who are just too busy for some of those types of activities. Same way with friendships and relationships. You have to be intentional and think about what you want in a situation like that and if the person is emotionally available to provide it. Otherwise, don't waste your time. You deserve the best. So keep that in mind, Rachel Cipriano with Magnificent Resilience. Check out my site, rachelcipriano.com. And please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Have a fantastic, productive week. Thanks.